I've been walking around here in the graveyard today, just kind of looking around, realizing that every every gravestone I see is basically a reflection of somebody's whole life. Yeah, I seen, um, as I was walking around, there was, a, there was a funeral going on. I looked over there. People were mourning. I don't know who died. So my sister, brother, mom, dad, wife, husband. But, um, we're all gonna die. And we've been given a space of time to do something to, to, with our lives. And it's kind of it's kind of symbolic as the sun's going down and as this day's ending, and as actually there's, per, there's a person's life who's ended over there, I just feel challenged to make sure I do the most with the time that God has given me, to do something for God. There's a scripture in Amos that says, Seek God and live. And there's another scripture in Proverbs that says, Surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. And there's another scripture in Psalms that says, Delight yourself in the Lord and He'll give you the desires of your heart. So I believe that means they're all connected as you seek God He's going to place His desires in your heart. And the more you seek Him, the more you're going to become aware of Him. So I challenge you today to just totally go after God. And when, when your time comes and they put up a tombstone for you, that the people standing around will miss you for good reasons. And they'll say, man, that, that, was a, that girl was an awesome woman of God. She, yeah, she was beautiful on the outside, but her, real, her true beauty was her integrity and what was on the inside. And for a guy that they'll say, that, that dude, man, he was a man of God. Every time he was around, he was always talking about God and the Bible and he was funny. He was cool. I always felt a, a sense of peace when he was around. So I challenge you on this, on this video blog to just totally go after God to read your Bible, to pray, to seek Him, and to know that he, He's there for you and He wants to have a relationship with you. He just wants the best for you, God, and He knows that the more you do those things, read, pray, and spend time with God, the more you're going to be strengthened to do what He's called you to do. Whatever he, he calls you to do, do it with all, all the power that He gives you. So don't just do whatever people want you to do, but do what God is calling you to do.